hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of b if we have b square divided by b is equals to b plus b divided by b and we solve this problem for all the values of b so further we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and in the first method uh, uh, we just need to cross multiply the terms so here we multiply this b on this b square and we multiply this b with these two values so here when we multiply b with b square it will be written as b square multiplied by b is equal to here we have this is b plus b is multiplied by b so further in the next step you see here when two same variable terms are multiplied by each other we add the exponents of these terms so the exponent of this is 2 and this is 1 it will becomes here b cubed is equal to this is b plus b becomes here at 2b and it is multiplied by this b so here we get 2b multiplied by b is equals to 2b square so this is the value of b cubed and further in the next step we need to move this 2b square from right hand side to the left hand side and it will becomes b cubed minus 2b square is equals to 0 uh, so further in the next step we need to take common uh, b square from here and when we take common b square we get the remaining values are b minus 2 is equals to 0 so further in the next step we need to uh, divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write b square is equals to 0 and the second case is we write b minus 2 is equals to 0 so from here we easily get the value of b is equals to 0 this is the, our first root of the given equation and from here we get the value of b is equals to 2 this is the second root of the given equation so these are the two roots or uh, which we get here from a given equation and now here further in the next steps we need to verify that is these roots are satisfied our given question statement or not uh, so for verification uh, we need to copy down given question statement here and it is b square divided by b is equals to b plus b divided by b and further in the next step here here in this side we will be verify b is equals to 0 and in this side we will be verify b is equals to 2 so these are the two roots of the given equation and further in the next step uh, we just substitute this value b equals to 0 on both of the sides and it will be written as when you put b equals to 0 into the left hand side it will become 0 square divided by 0 equals to 0 plus 0 divided by 0 so uh, from here you get 0 over 0 equals to this is also 0 over 0 so you see here 0 over 0 be the undefined form and so these both sides are undefined okay so uh, if both sides are undefined this means that b equals to 0 is not the solution of this equation so we call b equals to 0 be the extraneous root of the given equation okay so here uh, because both of the sides are not defined so so that's why we can say that b equals to 0 is uh, uh, not satisfied the solution so b equals to 0 be the extraneous root and now we need to substitute the second root here and, and when we put b equals to 2 on both of the sides it will become 2 square divided by 2 equals to 2 plus 2 divided by 2 so this 2 square becomes 4 divided by 2 and this 2 plus 2 becomes 4 divided by 2 so you get here 2 times 2 is 4 and 2 times 2 is 4 so we get here 2 is equals to 2 so this shows that the second value of b is satisfied our given question statement so uh, we have uh, the solution set of the given question is that uh, b is equals to 2 so this is the one solution set which we get uh, here from first method and now we again solve this problem for second method and in second method we first need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is uh, so uh, this is the our second method so the given question statement is uh, b square divided by b equals to b plus b divided by b this is the our given question statement and here in the second method i can uh, give you an other smartest techniques in which you can directly get the values of b without any calculation okay so here we just use the uh, uh, laws of exponents uh, to solve this problem so if you focus into the left hand side you see here 
uh, these two values are divided by each other but here we use this exponential life you have a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is equals to a to the power of m minus n so according to this rule the exponent of this term is 1 similarly if you see here in the right hand side we have this is 2b plus 2b becomes here b plus b becomes 2b divided by b so here we need to move this exponent 1 uh, to the upsides and it will be written as b to the power of 2 minus 1 is equals to this b is cancelled out by this b and we get here in the right hand side is 2 only so further uh, in the next step uh, we will get here uh, this uh, we get here b to the power of 2 minus 1 becomes here 1 and this is b is equals to 2. So in the second method we get here only one root of the given equation and that is b is equals to 2. So b equals to 2 be the only uh, and uh, only solution in the second method because in the first method we already verify that the value of b equals to 2 is satisfied our given question statement. So finally the solution set uh, in the second method is also same as first method and that is b is equals to 2. So this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.